Let's say you have a tight muscle that you have been stretching, you have been massaging, and it just doesn't let go. You let it rest and it still feels tight for weeks or months and months. In this video, I'm going to talk about the simple strategy that everyone can use for really stiff muscles that you shouldn't forget, but that even I forget. I'm gonna explain why I forgot it, how it affected me recently, and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this strategy so that you understand how to apply it to your own body if you have really stiff tight muscles so if you're ready let's get ready to think right move right and feel right I'm in beautiful central Oregon this morning to explain how you can loosen up really stiff muscles that just don't let go. So I recently have gone through a couple different periods where I have just locked up my own shoulders. I've locked up my lats. I've locked up all the muscles around my ribs. And no matter how long I rested, no matter how much massaging I did with foam rollers, with different massage tools, doing different lat stretches, I couldn't get this stiff, tight feeling to go away. Now you might be asking, how did you get so stiff and tight? And the answer is from surfing. I was constantly paddling. When I go out, I often tell myself, I'm only gonna be out there for an hour. And then I end up out there for two and a half hours, paddling around, thirsty for the right wave. And so this constant paddling like this actually gets kind of tiring and it repetitively loads the muscles in the same way and it gets my brain to talk to the muscles in the same way over and over and over again. And then for the next few days or the next few weeks, I feel really stiff and tight. And if I go surf again and I don't undo this, I'm gonna feel really bad. I'll actually feel like a little bit nauseous because things are so out of whack. Here's how it shows up in my body. I will notice I can't reach across like this. I will notice that going up overhead is really hard. I will even feel like going like this is impossible because all this tension out here and out here seems to be stopping me. And no matter how much I try to stretch it, it just doesn't work. Rather than just doing static stretching or trying to massage those stiff areas, the strategy that works is to actually activate those muscles that are complaining. So using my body as an example, when I can't reach across, I feel all this tension over here. And despite the massage and stretching back here, it just, nothing, nothing changed, nothing improved. What I had to do was actually get as far as I could go into that tough position, feel that tension. Then I could take my hand, create some resistance and then contract. So I'm going back against my hand here, back against my fingers. I'm going in the direction that activates those muscles that feel super stiff and tight. So I'm firing them up, holding it for three seconds, five seconds, 30 seconds sometimes, just playing around with different durations to see what my body will respond to. Sometimes the longer, longer contractions are what I need and actually, Oh, I can feel that loosening up this morning. That's pretty nice. And sometimes I just can't even tolerate holding it that long. I gotta just do shorter contractions and that starts to loosen things up and it starts to normalize the sensations on the back of my shoulder. Then I can go a little bit further, do the same thing, contract, hold, and then relax it. And the change in range of motion can sometimes be really dramatic. I know for me, after a about a week or two weeks of my shoulders just feeling super tight, I realized, hey, you know what I haven't done? I haven't done stuff that I actually teach in my own videos and in my own programs, so why don't I try the things that I'm actually teaching? Because the reality is this is super unintuitive if you're just a normal person and you've been told the ways to loosen muscles are to stretch and massage them. Stretching and massage do work, they do make sense, but sometimes it's not about just hanging out and hoping and praying. Sometimes you actually just got to activate those muscles, teach them that, hey, it's safe, you can be strong here, and we can be long here. And of course, you don't have to just use your own hands. You can also use load to increase the difficulty and to increase the gains that you get from this strategy. So you can take a band like this and anchor it to something sturdy, and you can start working on finding that range of motion that doesn't feel good and then just gradually moving in and out of it, making sure that the band doesn't feel overwhelming. You could do this at the gym with a cable machine so you can fine tune the amount of weight and resistance you're getting. The thing with an elastic band like this or a rubber band like this is that as you move away from the anchor, the resistance increases. So that's kind of not ideal, but you know what? 
it's also not ideal to have to buy a $500 machine and install it in your garage and takes up all that space. So a little band can be a great way to do it. And you can also just take the band and hold it in one hand and then you can fine tune the resistance by moving your anchoring hand a little bit further away or a little bit closer in so that you can have a little more or less resistance. You can try to increase the range or you could try to do a much bigger range or you could just do little tiny bits of range and just hold, increase the resistance by moving your anchor hand away. Do whatever you want to do to just activate the muscles that actually feel stiff and tight. This helps you restore balance to the muscles all around the joint that you're working on. So if it's your shoulders, then awesome. Play around, find those angles that are tough, figure out where you feel really weak and gradually increase the capability of the muscles that feel like they're too stiff, weak, tight, whatever adjective. So that way they can help you move the bones of that joint more comfortably and you're going to feel like, whoa, what happened? How come nobody taught me this in like fourth grade? And the answer, unfortunately, is your PE teachers probably didn't know any of this information. Your doctors, frankly, don't know this information. And they paid a lot of money to get their degrees. A lot more than your PE teacher. Another common area people feel really stiff and tight in despite doing a lot of stretching is the hamstrings. And I want to be very clear. If you are already flexible with your hamstrings and you can definitely already touch your toes and you have good range of motion and they feel tight still, then I want you to think about activating your hamstrings. This is something that I've noticed for myself and I've seen it in flexible people. Hey, I want to say a huge thanks to Raphael, Deepika, and Patricia for your very generous donations via PayPal to support this channel. Thank you so, so much. If you want to support this channel too, use the donate link you'll find in the description box for all the options that will help you, help me, help you. And don't forget to join my newsletter if you haven't already. Now let's get back to it. Let's say you have that good range of motion, but you're sitting and then you just feel like, oh my God, my hamstrings, and you just want to stretch them more and more and more and it's not helping you can try strengthening instead. So one example of that would be using a band to help you actually create resistance to your hamstrings firing. So keeping the, the knee pretty straight will help you feel the hamstrings a little bit more. And then holding this end position while you're pulling away from that anchor point, feeling the hamstrings fire, right? That's gonna help you actually feel more normal because normally when we're going through our modern lives we're not really firing the hamstrings to create much hip extension instead what we're doing is sitting and when we're sitting we're actually crushing the life out of the hamstrings in a hip flex position but we want those hamstrings to be strong in the hip flex position and also hip extended position so if you think about your daily life when do you ever use your hamstrings in a hip extended position? Unless you are sprinting and doing it with good form, you're basically never using your hamstrings in a hip extended position. Most of the time, hamstrings are just getting crushed underneath your body. So they will feel tight, they will feel like they're getting weak and atrophied, and that's gonna make them talk to you. And your job is to realize that something's going on that you need to address by strengthening the muscles instead of just trying to relax them, stretch them, and massage them all the time. Now, while you're doing this exercise, it can be helpful to hang on to something so you can balance yourself. It can also be helpful to elevate your foot so that you're standing up higher so you don't feel a little awkward trying to avoid hitting the ground, but you find what's gonna work for you. The whole idea here is to figure out what muscles are feeling stiff and tight, figure out whether it's a length problem, whether it's a strength problem by experimenting with your body. So this isn't just the magic exercise, but it's one possibility that you can use for other muscles if you find other muscles need help. For example, maybe it's my inner thighs, right? Maybe my inner thighs are actually pretty flexible. That's probably not you, but sometimes you can feel like you're really weak in your inner thighs and that's gonna make you feel stiff and tight. That can actually make it hard to stretch because the muscles are so weak. So even turning your body and then doing something like this to build some strength, hold that position, feel those muscles work and then come out keep doing this until you get a nice fatigue sensation and never do this to the point where you feel like you're going to pop or snap anything. So hopefully these 
couple examples help you understand how you might be able to test your body, how you might be able to strengthen different muscles in your body um, that feel tight, that don't seem to be responding to normal stretching and massage techniques. Yeah. So if you have muscles that just feel unbelievably stiff and tight, no matter what you do to relax them or stretch them, please remember to contract them, train them, get them to be stronger, and it will normalize the sensations and it'll help you get the range of motion that you're missing. Don't forget this. I forget this, but I'm telling you not to forget this. It's tough sometimes to keep this in mind, but remember, you've got at least three strategies to try. If you're stretching, you're massaging, and they're not working, then try strengthening the muscle and see what happens. Remember, you need strength at every length. You want volition at every position. And also remember that if it feels really stiff and tight and you're feeling like, oh God, I'm just gonna give up, then you have to ATM, always think muscles, employ these strategies to get your muscles to feel better, to move better, so you can live better. Let me know how this works for you. Drop me a comment down below. If you want to support this channel, you can join me on YouTube or on Patreon or use the donate link that you'll find in the description box. For more videos to help you get more flexible, check these out here. Like, share, subscribe with the bell notification on and make sure you drop me a positive comment because the algorithm loves seeing that and if you don't, you probably won't see me anymore. Also get in my newsletter at uprighthealth.com newsletter. Thanks so much for your support and as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life should.